I've heard a couple of surf films lately use the phrase, whatever fills your cup. Second time I heard it, thought it was a little bit hokey, just something that was getting thrown around. But over the course of this trip, my feelings shifted and having that phrase fresh in my brain, when that feeling hit, I knew immediately what the words meant. After dropping off Paula at the airport to fly to Augusta 70.3, I packed the van full of things I couldn't actually use until my knee was better. I figured worst case I would spend five days camping and walking around the woods. In best case, I'd be able to get in a couple of exploratory rides, maybe even a run. I've always felt like some of my biggest moments of growth have come when things seem to have gone off the rails. So I was a bit optimistic about what this trip would bring in terms of clarity, purpose, and direction for the future. When things go perfectly, we don't often pause to reflect. But when shit hits the fan, we look around, ask why, and maybe learn something. Here's to learning something. Words cannot explain how much I'd rather be here than there. Like, it's, it's you, hot, right? rather than being there racing yeah. or watching? Pretty much either one, though. Oh my god, Tamara flying by, what's her name? I don't know, you know. And you're like, oh, I wish these races were more exciting. I don't want this much excitement. <laughs> this is too exciting. Too much, please. Just all run the same once you get off the bike. Too much. Make it look like it's going to be a little close, but not this close. This is the same thing as Indian Wells. Mm-hmm. It's just a replay one year later. How's your knee? Um, worse than oh than yesterday morning yeah but not a ton but yesterday morning I woke up and yeah I it could barely tell it was a thing so okay we'll see Ooh. nice work dude way to work that in there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get that money we got Paula ah oh, we did it. <laughs> I took a lot out of her. She was, that was not at all optimal built lead in. All right. I can go on with our day. We're emotionally completely depleted. Yeah. I don't know. Would you feel like swimming? Yeah, I'm swimming today. Really? For sure. Okay, I'll drown.
Was it worth the drive? Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Of course. It's incredible how much variety we have within 30 minutes of right here. I mean, I just, every time I drive this direction from Oregon, it's wild. You can never get bored with all the different landscapes and things to see. Like we say, like the first person who was had like been walking through here for their whole life and then just happened to walk over into Yosemite and was like, what? <laughs> this has been here the whole time? <laughs> Did I take some magic mushrooms by accident? Dude, it's right there. Amazing. Lots of exploring to do. So much exploring yet to be done. For us at least. After only three days in Mammoth, I felt like the fog of disappointment had lifted and my mind was exploding with ideas for places I wanted to go, roads and trails I wanted to ride, and films I wanted to make. As my career has progressed, it's become increasingly apparent to me that I love the process of being outside, preparing for races, more than the races themselves. I love documenting the process visually just as much as I love the process itself. But the intensity and focus required to train for races disallows a lot of the exploratory elements that I love, and the chronic fatigue constantly threatens to extinguish the creative fire. TTL in its current form was born during COVID, and this trip reminds me of that. The videos and the experiences that I loved the most came out of a time of great uncertainty, where all we could do was think up many adventures to keep ourselves fit and busy. Pools were closed, but rivers were open. Races were canceled, but mountain KOM attempts were on. This trip reminded me of that, and as I drove to pick up Paula so she could join me on the long adventure home, a feeling of deepest contentment bubbled to the surface. Cup full. All right, the descent the descent off of that mountain pass, one of the most incredible roads I've ever seen. And I got to the bottom and if I don't ride it, I'll never forgive myself. Uh, figured I would come, I'll come back, but I gotta ride it now. It's too good. This is gonna be all time descent. It's a bit windy. Oh God, I can't wait to come back here. Love for the blame I set to thee. All the fingers.
Cause I pointed, but really pointed back at me All this fighting, this unsettling stir I see it now, I surrender Let the dust settle, let go of the pedal that's too much oh. I chickened out at about 87 an hour. Into it. Alright, 30 mile an hour headwind probably. No headwind? That is gonna be wild. Anyway. Wow. Hidden gem. There's way too much out there to ride the same road every day. Take my name out of your paper, Jane I've seen something that will never change the game Forgive me, friend, for all I did to thee I was on this thing, you were my enemy Unsettling stir I see it now I surrender Let the dust settle Let go of the pedal There's too much here Let these towers turn the rivers Let these instincts steal Let the dust settle Let the stormy weather ride out how bad news, my guy. The bro trip is about to end. How are you? Oh, we knew you were coming. <laughs> Flynn, come on, get up on your seat. Flynn, up on your seat. Flynn, no. Not outside. Come on. Up on your chair. Let's go. Good boy. Wow, yeah. Aggressive. See the red dust swirling. Red dust swirling on my knees. See the red dust swirling.